Though there is one creature that I think has probably uh, undergone as much research as any other when it comes to the Great Barrier Reef, and that's the Crown of Thorns starfish. But thankfully, and hopefully, it's met its match in the giant Triton. Check it out. While the word crown sounds rather regal, there's nothing royal about the Crown of Thorns starfish. This starfish has menaced coral for decades, but like all supervillains, it has an arch nemesis. G'day, I'm Peter Thomas Hall from the Australian Institute of Marine Science, and this here is a giant Triton trumpet shell. Hi, my name's Dr Cherie Motti, and we've been researching ways on how to control the Crown of Thorns starfish. And the giant Triton trumpet shell has a few tricks up its sleeve. Well, it's shell. <laughs> More about the giant Triton soon. But first, what is a crown of thorns starfish, or COTS for short? COTS scientific name is Acanthaster planki. This poisonous spiky starfish is native to the Indo-Pacific region and has always lived on the Great Barrier Reef. Because they are loaded with saponins, which are nasty soap-like toxins, they have virtually no predators. When crown of thorns starfish are attacked or annoyed, they release these saponins into the water and any fish that stick around will go belly up. They're also fussy eaters. In fact, they only have taste buds for coral. Their favourite type is staghorn coral. They can consume up to half a square metre of coral every day. In small numbers, they do minimal harm to the reef. They're also prolific breeders, meaning they can increase in population quite rapidly. One large female can produce over 50 million eggs. And to top it all off, crown of thorn starfish are very tough. If you cut them in half, they'll grow into two starfish. And this is what makes it very difficult to control the crown of thorns outbreaks. Over 30 years, we have lost nearly half the amount of coral cover on the Great Barrier Reef. About 40% of this decline is due to the crown of thorn starfish. Traditionally, scientists and specialist scuba divers have joined forces to help control starfish numbers they scour the reef and manually inject ox bile into these predators. But this is time consuming and expensive. It's also dangerous. The spikes are very poisonous. If you are stabbed, you're in a world of pain and could very well need antibiotics to control any infection. But the tables are now turning on the crown of thorns starfish, thanks to one of the world's largest sea snails. The giant triton trumpet, also known as Coronia tritonus, can grow up to 60 centimetres in length, is immune to, or unaffected by, saponins, and loves food with a bit of spike. Its favourite dish is crown of thorns starfish. But how? The triton paralyses the crown of thorns starfish, then eats it at leisure before digesting it completely. The sharp spines and other pieces of skeleton are all that is left behind, otherwise known here at Ames as Triton poop. But while the giant Triton loves to eat crown of thorn starfish, it will only eat one every couple of weeks. Now that won't control a large outbreak. So, how will this Triton help? Well, it all comes down to an incredible sense of smell. Both the starfish and the sea snail have the ability to sniff each other out and fast. To test this, we set up two tanks with cots. To one tank, we added just seawater, while to the other, we added water from a header tank occupied by a triton. And we repeat this many times. As you can see, the cots can't get away fast enough. So unlike the crown of thorns starfish, the triton is a very slow breeder. In fact, it was declared endangered in the 1960s after more than a century of being fished out for its beautiful shell. It took us a year and a half to find the eight tritons that we have now. So we are very privileged to be working with these animals. These tritons have been living and working at Ames to help Ames scientists tackle the cot's problem. And they're full of surprises, with two of our animals laying eggs. As far as we know, no one has ever successfully bred tritons before. And if it can be done here at Ames, there is a possibility of reviving the numbers on the Great Barrier Reef. So let's lift him out of the water and have a look at him. So crown of thorn starfish are a truly incredible creature, but in high numbers, they are a supervillain to the reef. 
If we could increase the number of giant tritons on the reef, we very may well shift the balance from evil back to good. So, watch, watch this, this space. Coming up on this extra special episode of Scope, where we are scoping out aims, we're going to 